What's up, all my investors? It is should die, and I'm back again with another shiniest video breaking down the financial complex world for everyday people like me and you, so we can get to this money via investing. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the bank's federal stress test. Very important information that you should be paying attention to. But before we get there, I do got to show my appreciation to all the people watching. Thank y'all. We're getting there. Almost 600 subs. It's been a long time coming, but I couldn't have done it without y'all. So please continue to support me and I appreciate you all. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Now, the banks are supposed to, uh, they're getting the option to opt into this stress test. The results will be put in, I think, after June 30th, but they have to submit their financial plans by April 6th. You want to watch which banks get in on this. I've been saying for a little bit of time now that there's so much opportunity in the banking sector. And these, these tests help ensure that the banks are going to be able to provide that support to the economy. In in case of a continuous recession, because I do believe we're already in a recession, but that stimulus is is is, is holding holding us up like that. Well, you obviously seen the picture with the man holding the world on his back. That's the stimulus right there. <laughs> so if that man don't get no support, um, we could we could continue to roll down into a depression. Hopefully not. That's not funny. There ain't nothing funny about that. But so they're gonna run these banks through two tests to ensure that they can withstand a recession, uh, if it was like a global recession, if, you know, um, commercial real estates are already on the fence, if that continues to go down, if the housing market goes down, which these are all potential things that are very well possibly able to happen if you didn't know. The housing market, I feel like is in a bubble, but hey, I don't know, maybe not. The commercial real estate is gone. Like, gone. Like, it, we're close. People are home. <laughs> Commercial real estate has zero value right now if everybody's home. Even in the future. If, every, if they can't come up with a way to vaccinate everybody, commercial real estate's done. Like, New York is a great example. Um, but that's just a whole nother story. And these, the last stress test in the fall, a lot of these, the bigger banks did very well, which was a good sign. Um, if this next stress test for JP Morgan, I hope Wells Fargo gets in on that. Um, we got some other big wigs, Goldman Sachs. These, this stress test will let you know whether, uh, you know, that you should invest in these stocks. Are, are they going to still perform well? Are they going to do bad? Are they not going to be able to handle what's, what's to come? Um, and I think this is good. I think they should do stress tests for many industries. I don't understand why they only do it for the banking industry. I think a stress test is, is critical information to have. And maybe they do other industries do their own type of stress test. But the stress test is very beneficial. And you and if a if a bank decides if a bank stock that trains publicly decides not to be in the stress test, that's a very scary sign. That means they don't want to know the information or they don't want their shareholders to know the information. And you don't want to be associated with any of that risky, shady stuff. You know, you want to be, you want to be invested in companies that are as open as possible. Even if they're lying, they're still open. Because uh, we're going to get that too. But the stress test, let me, uh, we got, the, so they go through two tests. The first test is... I didn't know that's the second test. The first test is the Dodd Frank Act stress test. Do your research. I don't know what that is or what the way they manipulate that or stipulate that or come up with the results on that, but it, you can find that out. And then they do the second test is the comprehensive capital analysis and review, which uses the bank's own capital management plan to better assess how the bank might actually perform under the same condition. Um each test examines for the future nine quarters, usually uh, nine quarters, that's two years, two and a half years, pretty much two and a half years. And that is usually the recession time frame, uh, I believe. So, like I said, just pay attention. I'm only sharing this to you so that you can just open your eyes a little bit more, be more 
mindful to see who submits to be in the stress test and what the results when they do come out on June 30th, I believe. Um, just pay attention. This could be very cr crucial information for your investment strategy. And like I said, if you haven't found opportunity, there is opportunity in the banking industry. Square, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, throw Visa in there, throw Discover Financial, throw Ali Financial in there. There's plenty of opportunities out there. You just got to find them. Do your research, do your due diligence, and find those opportunities. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like. Subscribe, please subscribe, please. I love you. If you love me like I love you, you subscribe, share, and have a good day. That, that's the most important part. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see y'all tomorrow.